kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Today, I'm gonna be answering questions about motivation. Are you ready? Are you in? If you are, come on in. Who am I kidding? No one's holding the camera, you're in. Ha, gotcha. <laughs> okay, so today, as you know, I am just gonna be answering questions related to motivation and just hopefully it'll bring some great insight to you guys and honestly, I just felt like doing it, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and this is not scripted at all. This is literally, I didn't prepare anything. It's just very raw and real and genuine. It's just like if this is live and you're asking me these questions, so let's get started. How do you motivate yourself to get work done after trying and failing over and over again? How do you motivate yourself to get work done? Basically, expecting to fail. In my life, personally, I've never achieved something great and something that made me proud without failing. Without, like, setbacks or obstacles getting in the way. Because once you attain that goal that you have, it, that's what makes it worth it, is failing. Like, you have to just have that mindset that whatever happens, even if you fail, no matter what obstacles or results show up, you have to keep going. And honestly, I don't see failure as a setback. I see it as a guiding force. I see it as a way to learn. And when I fail, I say that I'm lucky enough to fail. So how I motivate myself is just expecting it and loving like failure. Actually appreciating failing because there's some great power in knowledge when you fail. How can I become a morning person? How do I become a morning person? Shockingly, I am pretty much a morning person, actually. And I know many people who aren't. And okay, the thing is, the morning is what you set yourself up for the rest of the day. When you have a good morning, and when your mind is on straight, when you're happy and having gratitude, being thankful, setting goals up for the day, your whole day is gonna run smoothly. But say like something bad happens in the morning and then you're just mad and frustrated all day, that is like a domino effect and it's just gonna go downhill from there. So the morning is actually the most important part of the day. And just like, how do you be a morning, morning person? Like. How do you not be a morning person? Like if you are lucky enough to wake up and have a morning to look forward to and have a day to look forward to, that's such a blessing. And you should be thankful no matter how busy you are in the day, no matter what happens in the day, you woke up and that's all that matters. So appreciate that morning and create the day that you want and to create the day that'll make you proud. On to the next one. What's the habit requiring the least effort that makes the greatest difference? Okay, I can answer this question a million different ways, but what I'm gonna say is honestly, consistency. Consistency is so important because no matter what results and obstacles show up in your life, you have to keep going. You have to be consistent. Because like I say, like the step by step by step by step will add up to something big. And consistency plays a huge role in that. So stay consistent and just never, never, ever, ever give up. Number something. What would be the 10 most motivating words I could say to myself every morning to get myself to exercise? 10 most motivating words. Let me think about this. Get up. You can do it. Stop being lazy now. 10 words. How can I motivate my spouse to get off the couch? Okay, so here's the thing about this question is you can't control people. If you're trying to control someone, get that mindset, get that idea out of your head. You can't control people. They're going to do what they want to do. So the best thing in this situation is to just improve yourself. Because if your spouse is just sitting there on the couch and you're going to the gym and exercising, then you come home and do a bunch of work and you're so like vibrant and lively and productive and she or he is gonna feed off that energy. Energy is so contagious. Just once they see your energy, 
it'll motivate and inspire them to get off the couch. So look within yourself to change other people. That's what I would say with that. Next question. Zoom. I can't go up. I'm going to go down. <laughs> what is your best advice on keeping focused on the importance when the distractions in our lives are constant? Okay. If you think about it, distractions are just never going to get you anywhere. All they're doing is hindering you towards your goals and your dreams. That's all they do. And you have the ability to allow those distractions to enter your life and keep distracting you and keep pushing you back. Or you knock them aside and keep going, keep going forward. So just ask yourself, would you rather just sit there and stay on your phone and play games and other mindless activities? Or would you rather get up and work for your goals and dreams and create the life that you want? Answer that question and the actions will follow. What are your thoughts on getting unstuck? <laughs> Sometimes in life we all feel like we just want to just stay put. Honestly, like you just like you feel like, don't you ever get like that? Like you just feel like you want to break and you just feel like I'm done. I'm staying here, nobody mess with me, nobody talk to me, nobody, <laughs> like that's, that's what happens sometimes and it's okay. It's okay to take a step back sometimes and realize how far you've come and how far you still have to go. It's okay. But the thing is, you should never, ever, ever be stuck in that position because life is all about not getting unstuck. It's all about growing and finding yourself, finding your passions, pursuing your passions. And my thoughts on just getting unstuck, get a, get a shovel, get a hammer, get whatever you gotta do and get yourself out of that mud and get out of it, take your feet up like this, we'll show them and keep moving forward. <laughs> Told you this is not scripted. <laughs> How do you sustain self-motivation when you suffer a setback towards your goals? Okay, I got a good answer for this one, I think. <laughs> How do you sustain self-motivation? This is why I tell you guys to think long-term. Because no matter what's happening right now in this present moment, no matter what challenges or obstacles arise, you still have that goal ahead that you're aiming for. It's still there waiting for you. So that stuff that's happening, the bad stuff happening, shouldn't matter because that goal is still there. You know what I mean? All the challenges and setbacks and obstacles you face in life, it's gonna happen. But it's how we choose to deal with all of them, how we choose to get them out of the way and how we handle them to keep going towards that goal, that dream that you have. I always say it's not about what happens to you, it's about how you deal with it. So self-motivation, know that that finish line, that that goal is there. And whether or not you get to it depends on you. I got a couple more for you. <laughs> what is the difference between being alive and truly living? Boom, okay. Being alive, having an average job, doing something that you don't truly love, not being that happy, living paycheck to paycheck, just basically living to pay your bills, just having that boring, boring life. But truly living is following your heart, doing what you love, doing what you're passionate about, being happy, finding yourself, having self-awareness, becoming the person you want to become, achieving your goals, chasing after your dreams. That's what's truly living. Looking forward to every single morning, getting excited to get up every morning, finding peace and happiness and fulfillment within yourself. I can go on and on about this, but that is what's truly, truly living. And I promise you, you will 
feel the difference. I think I got one more question for you. Huh? What lesson did you learn the hard way? Okay. Basically, never, ever, ever taking life for granted. The people in your life, the things in your life, your life, taking your life, just never taking your life and the people in your life for granted. Because you never ever know what tomorrow holds. You never know when it's the last time you're gonna see someone you love. Appreciating the smallest things in your life. Being proud and happy that you can do the things that you can do, like walking, going to school. I learned that the hard way. Just never take anything for granted. Because one day you may regret the things you missed out on. The things you didn't do. You may regret the smallest things that you once took for granted because you never saw how special it was until it was gone. And sometimes that sadly happens. You never know what you got until it's gone. So appreciate everyone and everything and every opportunity you have and everything that you are able to do. Or just appreciate everything in your life because it's so fragile and it can all be gone like this. And that's all I have for you guys today. That's all the answers to the questions I have for you guys today is. But I got, I'm gonna turn, turn the tables a little bit and ask you guys some questions now that I want you to answer. And it doesn't have to be in the comments below. Like you don't have to answer them in the comments below. You can if you want, of course, it's all open. But please just answer these questions for me with yourself with yourself, okay? What are your reasons for wanting to achieve your goal? What steps do you need to take to move closer to your goal? What would be the consequences of not being motivated to achieve your goal? How can you overcome obstacles or barriers? What habits can I create to obtain and sustain motivation? What traits as a person do I need to work on to become the person I want to become? So answer those questions truthfully to yourself or you can leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear them. And if you guys like this video, if you guys like me answering questions like this, please let me know in the comments below. I can always do part two if you guys liked it. And I can even answer your questions next time. So. You can write all of that in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. My phone. I got questions on my phone. Okay.